Hello brother, it's me Critical Rocket with another Griffin Chassis Series video, this time in the Royal SLDF Griffin 2N. Yes, the 2N was specifically created for the SLDF and their Royal Guard units. Uh, basically, this was not long after the sort of official formation of the military of the SLDF and the House Cameron at the time. So you have to remember that there's uh, within the Star League Defence Force there was Star League units and then there were the royal units. The royal units were the ones who got all of the nice picks of equipment <coughs> and of such. You had uh, many of the House Cameron SLDF units uh, owning uh, some of the best tech uh, currently available. Then you had all the House units that were from Davian and Curita and such. And Although they were counted as SLDF, they didn't get the royal treatment, so to speak. So the Griffin 2N was uh, specifically designed for the Star League Defence Force and uh, their Royal Guard unit, and it's quite an effective fighter. ERPPC, two SRM6s, and a Guardian ECM suite. Very different style from the original Griffin, obviously, reducing its long-range support role to a kind of a mixed role of being able to very quickly uh, do damage at range, especially with that, um, with the fact that it doesn't have a minimum range for the PPC anymore but coupled with its very dangerous SRM striking capability on the tabletop that made it effective at taking on infantry, light vehicles and also being able to obviously deliver quite an impressive punch if all the, the SRMs would hit um, very easily knocking over enemy mechs uh, in close range if they took more than 20 points of damage. Uh, so in Mechorian Online obviously the Griffin 2N is seen quite often uh, in a lot of comp groups, uh, mainly because of its capability of being a relatively fast chassis, ECM capability, jump jets, and high mounted missile hardpoints, meaning it can be very deadly, almost a kind of um, competitor to the Stormcrow in some respects for its SRM builds and speed, but uh, a little more versatile in, the, in that sector of uh, being able to cover the team. Now the Griffin 2N is probably my favourite Griffin. I do really love the default build. Uh, it's nice and simple, very easy to use, has a very strict defined role of being just a straight up. It gets the job done at uh, pretty much all ranges type mech. Um, it obviously relies on things like an XL engine, um, but you can run it with a standard. It's, it's not too bad. And obviously, when you buy it, it already comes with most of the upgrades, included uh, double heat sinks and endo and ferrofibrous and such. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Ammo isn't a massive concern either because with the ERPPC, once you free up any weight based on your preferences for armor and engine, you can get a bit more ammo in there. And the SRM sixes are relatively deadly, even more so if you can uh, obviously squeeze in the type of like Artemis system, so you can really make those SRMs pop. I've not really seen. Uh, many deviations from the stock build on this. Obviously the ERPPC will get changed for something a bit more versatile like a pulse laser or the such, but it's really it's not that bad a mech from stock. It, it just just kind of works and I've always liked it ever since it was added um, maybe last year or uh, 2015, maybe end of 2014 as I remember, but still a uh, very very fun mech to run. Uh, the only really downside, you know, sort of thing to keep in mind is just that the arm-mounted ERPPC, uh, or its laser hardpoints at least, are sort of positioned in an area that means you suffer the clan low slung arms situation. I think it happens now actually, or in, very shortly I end up hitting the floor, uh, even though obviously the, I wish the game had a way of telling you that sometimes, because uh, you get a great lineup of a shot and you fire and you just hit the ground and you think, ah, oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, it. It's got great speed, there we go, that was hitting the floor. It's got great speed, um, agility due to its jump jet capability, and it, it's got staying power as well. I don't know I don't know why, but I always seem to last a bit longer in the Griffin 2N than I ever do in any of the other types of Griffins that I've run. Although I really like the 1N for its, again, its simplicity uh, with the PPC and the LRM10. The 2N, yeah, really sells it for me, it's definitely the one that I would keep. If I had if I had to get rid of all the others, I'd probably just keep the two end because it is just a fun mech to run. And this uh, match was really good, um, very back and forth on Viridian Bog. Uh, it was a domination match, but it didn't feel it. It felt just like a, a straight up like knife fight. There was just enemies all over the place, constantly like sort of shifting around, 
Uh, I, I feel that this video was a, uh, quite, a, quite a nice showpiece for the 2N, I would like to think so anyway. Um, just highlighting its ability to move from spot to spot, the ECM keeping it um, hidden from enemy radar and the SRMs. Uh, really doing some good damage here and there. I mean, apart from my shit aim at times, <laughs> sort of missing of, of I mean, how I miss a summoner with two SRM sixes. I don't know. Uh, just one of those unique things that I seem to be able to achieve in uh, in the world of NetQuarry Online. But um, yeah, as a, as a roundup to it, the two N, yeah, is a great variant of the Griffin. And if you haven't tried it, certainly give it a go. I mean, the SRM Max are already quite popular as it is, and uh, I don't think you'd be upset with this one. I really don't, so thanks for watching everybody, uh, have a good one, and uh, Critical Rocket will see you around. Bye bye New target acquired. Target. To all surface troops, enemy forces are moments from victory. New target acquired. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target. Target destroyed. New target acquired. destroyed.